Congressman, there's an old saying inside the Beltway, when your enemy's in trouble, you let him stew there. You don't try to try to help him get out of it. The Democrats are in trouble right now with Biden. You're about to, to face him in November. Why would you want to help the Democrats with their Biden problem? Hey, David, good to be on. And uh, Chad just articulated pretty well the state of play here in Washington. And this isn't about the political question, first and foremost. It's about the state of the president of the United States, the state of the commander in chief, the ability of the commander in chief to make the decisions necessary to carry out the powers and the duties of the office which he holds. He has the nuclear codes. We are engaged in all sorts of conflicts around the world, uh, directly or indirectly. He's making tough and difficult decisions every day. But here's the issue. He's not making all of those. We know that. You know that. Everybody watching this knows that. You now have Democrats who are stepping up saying we need to have a president by committee. The former Secretary of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, members of Congress, members of his administration are saying, hey, we need to be deciding this. All of these great people he has around him. Well, first of all, he doesn't have a lot of great people around him. Second of all, the founders made very dang clear that they didn't want a president by committee. That's what you have yeah. right now. That's unconstitutional. We should say it. And I'm not afraid of running against Joe Biden or Kamala Harris and either is Donald Trump. He would wipe the floor with either or both of them. Is it conceivable that that enough Democrats might go along at this point? They're, they're just so so bothered by the fact that they're they're their presidential candidate, their current president, but their presidential candidate can't do the, the trick, can't run the country effectively, that they might join you. Well, you know, it's interesting. There's been an increasing number of Democrats who have raised the issue of the president's mental capacity and abilities. Uh, you're seeing those numbers stack up. You're seeing the conversations that have leaked out of the Democratic call yesterday, uh, where you had, for example, Don Beyer, the former lieutenant governor of Virginia, the current member of Congress from Northern Virginia, uh, who raised issues. Don't, don't believe that he's up to the task. Uh, you've got many Democrats doing right. that. But at the end of the day, I don't think they'll go there. I don't think they can. They're in a box. They are in a box where they've got to choose between a mentally incompetent president and a DEI vice president. And they know that they're going to be facing a problem either way. All right. Congressman, I want to switch to another issue. House Democrats yeah. are now fighting against a bill that would require voters yeah. to show ID to cast their ballots. Eighty one percent of Americans, 81 percent of voters specifically say they are in favor of voter ID. So Democrats are going to vote against something that 81% yeah. of Americans are in favor of, really? Yeah, well, I was proud to join with uh, the Speaker of the House and my friend Mike Lee over in the Senate to introduce the SAVE Act. It's legislation that I authored. Uh, this is legislation that would require proof of citizenship, citizenship to vote in federal elections. Uh, we don't think this is that complicated. As you said, it's an 80% plus issue uh, across the board among the American people. But Democrats, as usual, are so out of step and out of touch that they're going to fight it. They're going to challenge it. And uh, they're going to try to stand up for the continued destruction of election integrity in this country, mm. rather than just making a simple statement that only citizens should be voting in our federal elections. We have the power to do that under the Constitution. We should do it. There's been credible indication and evidence of uh, mass uh, you know, efforts to recruit uh, people who are here illegally and non-citizens to vote. Virginia had to clean off their rolls last year. They had 1,500 they had to clean off. There's thousands of examples across the country. Let's fix this right now, even as the president has had his lawlessness destroy our borders and import millions of people into this country. And they've even acknowledged that they intend to try to register these individuals to vote, using welfare rolls to do it, using Medicaid to do it. Let's stand up right now yeah. as America and say only citizens should vote and you should have to provide proof of citizenship to register. Well, I, I would love to see who's willing to vote against something that 81 percent of Americans yeah. are in favor. I'd love to get that on the record. Finally, I just want to ask about Hurricane Barrel. I, I know yeah. you're not necessarily in direct path of it, but it, it has made landfall in Texas. Uh, what can you tell us about what damage it's doing? Yeah, we're getting some updates. Obviously, I represent over closer to Austin. We thought it was going to come our way. It's moved east. It's over Houston. We're obviously right. praying for the people there. We're seeing flooding. We're seeing high winds. We hope that the storm will move quickly through there so the flooding will recede. Uh, power's out for about 1.3, 1.5 million Texans. Uh, but I know the lieutenant governor, Dan Patrick, is on top of it, along with the governor who's traveling and is coming back soon. Uh, they're on top of it, getting all the emergency crews out there, but we're praying for the people down in southeast Texas. Oil traders want to know, uh, were there problems with the rig? in the Gulf or with refiners on land? 
Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have the full details and the update on that. I mean, we'll hope to get the details here in the next 24 hours, but uh, we're obviously uh, looking out for all those people. We need to make sure our energy continues to flow. Right. We're proud of that in Texas. It's also why we need to make sure that Donald Trump is elected so that we can actually have American oil and gas flowing. Congressman Chip Roy, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Now, this Thanks. Texas governor.